everything that could have gone wrong went wrong on that on that Zoom call. Like it, from top to bottom, like the 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 couple got into a huge fight right on the Zoom call with me. Awesome. And uh, they thought that they you know they pushed mute, thinking they couldn't see me anymore. That I couldn't see them anymore. So they were just ripping into each other and yelling at each other and. You know, it was the it was a madhouse, and then you know, you name it, it went wrong. None of the things my my share screen went right. Nothing went right. It was a disaster. And then I sent them the listing agreement, and it got it back in like twenty minutes. So, <laughs> I love that. So that, it just that. goes to show you, you can We're even good. mess it all up and get it right. There you go, I Matt. Hope, I hope they recorded it, man. That ah, was great. Recorded. Oh man, it was great. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> Oh, Matt, Corey, what Corey wants to know if you recorded the call. I want to know. No, but I, I from this point forward, we're going to have Zoom calls recorded for sure. They're they're gold. They're That's gold. Awesome. You would. Yeah. That would have been great. Oh my <laughs> gosh! Wait till you sell it before you post the recording. Okay. Good point. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, love that. All right, one more, and we're going to get started. All right, so we're gonna get started. All right, here's what we're gonna to do today, guys. I'm looking for role play partners. We're gonna move fast. So when I say who's next, take yourself off mute and go. And this is gonna be 100% script. So if you've been looking for scripts, this is that call. Uh, I am going to cover making lead generation calls to your sphere of influence, circle prospecting, for sale by owners, expireds. We're gonna talk about the exit conversation on a preview. Um, close for the listing, uh, overcoming objections, and price reductions. So I'm looking for a role play partner on Sphere of Influence. By the way, take notes. I am recording this, but just in case the recording doesn't work, you're going to want to make sure you get notes on this. Sphere of Influence, who's my role play partner? Go ahead, John. I'll roll. No right. Problem. So ring, ring. Hello. Hey, may I speak to Corey, please? Yeah, this is he. Who's this? Corey, it's John Dietz. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. Yeah. You know, it's been a couple months since we talked. Just checking yeah. in. I want to see how you and your family are doing. Well, you know, we're holding up, John. We're, you know, we're doing okay. Just getting through the, the get through at this point. Yeah. This is crazy time, isn't it? Oh, John, it's unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. it really is. Everybody at home is healthy, I, I assume and hope. Yeah, thank, thank God we are. We're yeah. bunkered down here and just taking care of the, you know, just taking care of the family and, and not yeah. doing anything as much. Cool. Well, I'm so glad to hear that. You know, last time we spoke three months ago, you were working as an accountant at Blank 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 um, Accounting Firm. And uh, are you still working there? Yeah, I'm there. I'm just, you know, working, you know, remotely. Yeah, okay. my, yeah my wife got laid off. She was, mm. you know, worked in the... Um, in the hotel industry. So, uh, yeah, I'm still working there. I'm really sorry to hear about your wife getting laid off. That's, that, that's rough. And I'm grateful that you're still a, able to work. So that's good. Uh, if I had a referral for you, are you accepting new clients? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, cool. I'm, that's, that's good. Mm -hmm. So, just wanted to check in and see, are you, are you still getting my market updates that I send to you every week? Yeah, you know, I haven't been, you know, you know, I do see it, John, to be honest, okay. I, you know, I really don't check them as much, but yes, uh -huh. I'm getting them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just want to make sure you're getting them. And is there, do you have any questions for me today or is there anything that I can do for you? Anything at all? No, not a, nothing right now, you know, just, um, you know, we're just, you know, we're all hoping and praying that we can get back to work here in the next couple of months full time. Totally understand. What's a perfect job look like for your wife in, in case I come across something that I can help find a job for her? Well, she's, she's been in hotel management for, I don't know, 15 years or so. But, okay. um, you know, she, she works at the, at the Ritz and hopefully she gets back to work. Oh, that's a great job. Later. That's a great so, job. Um, yeah. You know, hopefully, uh, hopefully she gets back to you know, get, get back, get, get back to the work relatively soon. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll definitely keep her in my prayers and keep your family in my prayers. Um, so believe it or not, people are still buying and selling houses. It's crazy. Wow. Really? Yeah. 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 You know, as a matter of fact, uh, uh, a lot of people 
And um, I'm getting calls daily from people who need to sell their home. Wow. I, that's, that's, I, didn't, I didn't think of it that way. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Know. Yeah. Yeah. So if you knew of somebody that was going to sell their home, would you refer them to me, Corey? John, all the time. You did a, you did a fantastic job a few years ago, and we, we really appreciate your follow up for sure. Cool. I appreciate that. If you talk to someone who's thinking of selling their home, would you give me a call? Absolutely. All right, you buddy. I will. You're the best. And I'm going to work hard to find a referral for you, okay? That sounds great, John. I, right. I truly appreciate you following up with us. Cool. Corey, make it a great day. If there's anything you need, I'm a phone call away. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you once again, John, and, and appreciate everything. You got it, my friend. All right. So that was probably four minutes and very similar to the role play you saw on Bold Pivot yesterday. I'm following a Ford model of communication we, and we only touched on family and occupation. You don't have to hit every single one of those letters, family, occupation, recreation, dreams, every single call and always lead with gratitude, always bring contribution, bring value and ask for opportunity every single time. All right, for sale by owner, who's next? I'll go, let's go. Yeah, uh, and, yeah. and guys like Natalie, yeah. I see your picture. If you don't take yourself off mute and say I'm next, I'm just gonna pick somebody in my screen here, guys. So uh, Matt Ferrelli, take yourself off mute. You are for sale by owner. Not that I don't wanna talk to you, Corey. Cool. But you need to bring other Let's people. Let's do it. Wayne, you're next. I saw you put your hand up. <laughs> so ring, ring. <clears throat> Hello. May I speak to Matt, please? Yeah, this is him. Hey, Matt, this is John Dietz. I'm a real estate agent with Keller Williams Realty. And the reason for my call is I noticed you're selling your home by owner. Yeah. Yeah, okay. First of all, thank you for taking my call. I really do appreciate that. And secondly, before I talk real estate, I just want to make sure everything at home is, is okay and everybody's healthy. Yeah, we're all good here. Yeah, yeah, yeah no so, problems here. So glad to hear that. I really am. And just curious, are you still selling your house? Well, we've had, we haven't had a whole lot of showings, as you might imagine. There's, there's not a lot of people out there, and the market is totally stalled, and um, there's no buyers, and um, you know, nothing's happening right now. So we're just going to have okay. to wait. Okay. So just curious, if I were able to bring you an offer, would you want me to do that? I mean, yeah. I, I mean, if you could, it, that would be great. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, cool. So I'm not calling to list your house. I want to help you sell it. Is that okay? Yeah, that, that's what I need to do. I, I, would, I would like to sell the house for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly why we should get together. And it, it only take me about 10 or 15 minutes to look at your home so I could potentially bring you an offer. And I, and I can either come over and do that in person and I wear a mask and gloves, of course, and nobody's sick at my house. Mm -hmm. Or if you're more comfortable, we could do the appointment by Zoom, which would work better for you. Um, I mean, do you have buyers right now? I mean, it's I, from what I've heard, there's just no buyers out there right now. So that's a great question, you know, and I don't know if I have the right buyer for your home until I see your house. Uh, however, we are selling sense. homes. Yeah, we are selling homes. As a matter of fact, we sold 90 homes last month. Oh, yeah. So people are still buying out there? Oh, heck yes. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And there's actually very little inventory. And that's our biggest challenge is finding the right house for the right buyers. And if buyers aren't looking at your house, you're not going to get an offer, are you? No, I mean, I, I, yeah, if nobody comes in and sees it, no, I'm not going to get any offers for sure. Yeah. And if I had an offer, you'd want me to bring it to you, correct? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that'd be great. So would an appointment in person work better for you or would a Zoom appointment work better? Um, probably a Zoom. Uh, my wife is high risk stuff, so um, I wouldn't want anybody coming to the house right now. Totally get it. And I respect that. So I, I'm available tomorrow. I'm looking at my calendar and I've got three o'clock or would four be better for you? I mean, I've never done that Zoom thing. Is that going to be difficult or how does that work? Not at all. I'll walk you through it. I'll send you a Zoom link. All you're going to have to do is log in and you and I will be speaking together on the computer. Uh, you could do it. You can uh, log me in on your phone and that way you can walk through your home and we'll do a virtual tour of your property. Yeah, oh, that'd be great. That'd be really perfect. You've got it. It's my pleasure, man. I'll see you tomorrow at okay. 3 o'clock. Thanks, John. I appreciate you calling. It is my pleasure.
All right, so expired. Wayne, you ready? I'm ready. All right, ring, ring. Hello. May I speak to Wayne, please? You got him. Hey, Wayne, John Dietz. I'm a real estate Hi, agent with, yeah, I'm a real estate agent with Keller Williams. And I noticed your listing came off the market. Yes, it did. Yeah. And listen, I also know things are crazy right now. We're in the middle of a health crisis and I don't want to talk business before checking in and making sure everybody at your home is doing okay. Everyone's doing okay. And one person is high risk, but we're all good. All right. I'm glad to hear that. So are you still interested in selling your home? It would be nice. Okay. Sorry. If I had, yeah. And if I were able to bring you an offer, would you want me to do that? Certainly. Okay. And just out of curiosity, if your home would have sold, where were you moving to? Uh, we're going to the beach a little north. Okay. That sounds awesome. What's important about that? Change of scenery. The house is old. Uh, I've updated enough and okay. I want to sell before I have to put on a $30,000 roof. Okay. Totally get it. So what I would love to do is just schedule some time to look at your home so I could potentially bring you an offer. I can either do that in person or we can set up an appointment by Zoom, which would work better for you. Um, either or, but no other real estate agent that called explain how you're going to visually see my house on Zoom. Mm -hmm. So I would connect I'm not with you. carry the computer around with me. No, no, no. We could do this using your phone. Okay. Yeah, so you could just walk me through your house and I can ask questions and you can give me a tour of your home. Fair enough. Yeah, or I can come over, wear gloves and wear a mask and nobody's sick in my home, but I'll be super safe to make sure that you and I are um, both safe and no one gets sick. Well, for the moment, let's zoom it and then yep. we can always back it up with an in-person. That works. And I'm looking at my calendar. I've got tomorrow at four. Or would five be better for you? Five is definitely better. Okay. So before I let you go, one last question. Fire are away. you going to, are you going to relist your home and put it back on the market? Or are you going to wait for a little while until this uh, virus passes? You know, I've been contemplating that and uh, I'm a little unsure whether we're going to wait another couple of weeks. I don't okay. know what that does to the buyer market. Okay. Or if I'm just going to go back on, I know when something's on too long, it gets a little stale. Okay. It's got to sit down and relax again. Sure. So why don't I do this? Let me do an updated market analysis on your home and an updated supply and demand analysis. And we'll go over that when we meet on our Zoom call tomorrow. That's okay. I, I, I'd enjoy that. Perfect. And we said four o'clock, right? Five. Five. I'll see you tomorrow at five o'clock. Okay. All right. Exit conversation. Oh, circle prospecting. Who's next? You've got five seconds before I call. I'm here. On Nadine is here. Let's go, Nadine. So ring, ring. Hello. May I speak to Nadine, please? This is she. Hey, Nadine. John Dietz. I am a real estate agent with Keller Williams Realty. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thank okay. you. Okay. Good, good, good. Listen, first of all, thank you so much for taking my call. Um, and I won't be long. I only need 60 seconds. The okay. reason for my call today is we recently sold a home in your neighborhood. Believe mm -hmm. it or not, people are still buying homes and selling homes, which is awesome. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I know. And our challenge is there's not very many homes for sale, especially in your neighborhood because you live in a great neighborhood. Thank and you. Yeah, yeah. And there's buyers out there that are still interested in great homes like yours. And I was just curious, who do you know in your neighborhood who might be thinking of selling their home? I really don't know anybody that, you okay. know, now that would want it. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I appreciate you taking a moment to think about that. And before I let you go, I have this really cool app that I can send you that will allow you to stay up to date with what's going on in your neighborhood. Uh, well, and go ahead. I mean, that's really nice, but I, I know what's going on in the neighborhood. I'm sure. on next door. Yeah. Yeah, totally get it. So what I'm hearing is you don't want me to send you the app, right? Nah, it's not necessary, but thank okay. you anyway. Okay, so Nadine, thank you for taking my call and make it a great day. Thank you. Cool. 
guys, I'm not going to work hard on that. It's circle prospecting. I'm making a hundred calls. If they don't want to connect with you, then next. Okay. Uh, exit conversation. I am previewing. This is real life. We're in the home, right? It could be by zoom as well, by the way. And I am at the door getting ready to leave after a preview of a property that is being sold by owner. All right, who's next? I'll go. Natalie, how are you? Good, how are you? Okay, good. So Natalie, you have a beautiful home. Thank you for the opportunity to see your home and I'm positive it'll sell. Oh, thank you, I appreciate that. Absolutely, so before I leave, I'd like to ask a couple of questions. Would that be okay? Sure. Yeah, so in my experience, most for sell by owners have a game plan for how long they're gonna sell their home by owner before they hire a professional like me. Can I ask you what your game plan is? Now that you're saying that, I really didn't think about that. I probably 60 days. Okay, cool. And I'll work hard to help find a buyer in the next 60 days. And one more quick question for you. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Yes. So again, in my experience, most for sale by owners are selling their home by owner in order to save on the fee. Is that exactly. the reason? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. why you're selling by owner. Yeah, that makes sense. Plus, I, I've, I've sold homes before and I can do this myself. Yeah, of course you can. Yeah. Now, I know that when we set up the appointment, you shared with me that if a real estate agent brought you a buyer, you would give them 3% to represent the buyer, correct? Correct. Yeah. So the difference between selling your home by owner and working with a professional like me is just 3%, not 6%, correct? Correct. Yeah. Okay. So before I leave, I just want to let you know I'm super good at follow-up, which means I'll continue to stay in touch. I'm persistent and I'm not- Are you going to bring me a buyer? It's <laughs> a great question, Natalie. And if I have the right buyer, I absolutely will bring you the right buyer. You don't want me to bring just any buyer, do you? No. With the right buyer, don't you? Correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll stay in touch with you. I am persistent, not pushy. And if there's anything you need, I'm a phone call away. Oh, perfect. Okay. Thank cool. you. Great. You have a great day. You okay. Well. Close for the listing. Who's next? I'll do it again if no one else is there. Let's go, Nadine. So we're sitting at your kitchen table. And Nadine, thank you again for the opportunity to visit with you today. And we've gone through your goals. And uh, I've shared with you what I'm going to do to help you get those goals accomplished. And my question for you is, I asked you earlier that if I could demonstrate that I was the right agent for the job to get these goals accomplished, if you would hire me today. And you, and you said, I don't know. And, that, and I respect that. Now, just out of curiosity, on a scale of one to 10, with one being you don't like anything I said, you can't wait for me to leave. And 10 being I'm the right agent for the job. Where are we? Just out of curiosity. We're probably about an eight. Yeah, okay. And what would, it, what would need to happen in order for this to be a 10? Um, I, you know, I guess the if you can show me that I can net what I want to net, that mm -hmm. would help me make my decision. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. And if you can, if we can do this within the next thirty days, because I really do want to get out of South Florida. Yeah, and I and I know you shared with me that getting your home sold within thirty days was your number one goal. And that your second goal was to net 400,000, correct? Yeah, I guess what I'm saying net is, you know, would you lower, if you would lower your commission, that would really make it a 10. Yeah. If I lowered my commission, would you hire me today? Yeah. Cool. So if I were willing to work for 5%, you would hire me today? Yeah. Okay, cool. So we're going to jump right into overcoming objections because Nadine gave me the opportunity to do that. Um, now, Nadine, can I share with you why that concerns me? Sure. Okay. You see, what I'm hearing you ask is how good of a negotiator I am. I didn't know that I asked that, but okay. Well, you're asking me if I, if I would lower my fee, you would hire me, correct? Yeah. 
Yes. Yeah, you see, if I were not a very good negotiator, then I would give away my money quickly, wouldn't I? Because you'd hire me today. That would be the easy thing to do. <clears throat> I see your point. Yeah, here's my concern. If I'm willing to give up my money that I use to support my family that quickly, how quickly will I give up your money when we have an offer on your home? Yeah, I never, I never really thought of it that way. Yeah, and, you're, and we're going to list the property at 400 and you mentioned that your bottom line was 380 That's where your heart stops. You're not taking anything below 380 correct? Correct. Yeah, so here's my concern. If you hire a limited service discount agent who's willing to give away their money in order to get your listing, if they got an offer of 370 they've already given away their money. If they got an offer for 370 is it possible that they would say, wow, that's great because I know she'll take 380. Yeah, they probably would say that. Yeah, and if you hired the right agent who's a great negotiator to, that could get you 395, you just lost $15,000, didn't you? Yeah, I guess I, I guess I have. I don't even think they would negotiate for me actually. Yeah. They yeah, and what's 1% of 400,000? It's 4,000 dollars. Yeah, 4,000. Yeah, and what's greater, 4,000 or 15,000? 15, obviously. Yeah, so who do you want to hire? An agent that's going to get you an extra 15 or an agent that you might save 4,000 dollars with? Um, obviously, I want the 15. Yeah, so who's the right agent for the job, Nadine? You are, John. You ready to get started? Yeah, let's okay. give me the paperwork. Cool. Great job, by the way, Nadine. Love that. <laughs> All right, price reductions. Who's next? Heather Barber, let's go. Sure. So, Heather, it's John Dietz following up his promise. How are you today? Hi, John. Yeah, thanks for taking my call. I love Heather. She's a high D, right to the point. Hi, John, what do you want? <laughs> I love it. So Heather, listen, I promise to stay in touch with you and I promise to keep you updated with on, updated with what's going on in the market, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we've had your home on the market now for 30 days and we've listed it at 700,000. And I shared with you when we met that the market would tell us what they, what it thought of our offer. And the way we would know is with showings. And according to the National Association of Realtors, we're looking for two showings a week, which means we should have had eight showings by now and we've only had three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that concerns me. Yeah, it concerns me too. Yeah. So what do you think we should do? Um, well, are you marketing it like you said you were going to? It's a great question. And I'm absolutely marketing your home exactly the way that I told you I was going to. As a matter of fact, in the last 30 days, and don't get mad at me, please, because I know your home hasn't sold, but I've sold five homes in the last 30 days. Yours just isn't one of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, in looking at supply and demand between 650 and 700,000, uh, I have a question for you. If we had an offer tomorrow for $690,000, what would you do? I would take it. Yeah. So where does your heart stop? At what point are you not selling your home? Because I know you're selling your home to move to Tampa with your family because Corey starts a new job and I think he starts in August. So you're gonna move to August, you're gonna move to Tampa for Corey's new job. And I and I remember you sharing with me that that was your number one goal was to have your home sold and closed in time to move to Tampa by August for Corey to start his new job. So my question is, where does your heart stop? What does an offer look like that you would accept and move to Tampa versus still being here in August? Well, I feel like it's probably a little bit slower because of the pandemic. True. So, um, so you know, I don't want to give it away and we still have time. Okay. So just curious, what does an offer look like that you would accept, hypothetically? We get an offer next week. What does an offer look like that you're selling your home? I like the 690, I would take that. Yeah. What if it was 680? Are you rejecting that offer? Uh, I mean, 
mean, I would like you to negotiate it. So we get an offer for 670 and we negotiate it up to 680. What are you going to do? Um, think about it for a minute. Think about it. Now you have to make a decision. What are you going to do? <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe like 685 would be. What if the buyer says it's 680 or I'm walking? What are you going to do? And we have no other offers? Nope. And I would probably take it. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So here's what we should do. We should go ahead and lower the price to 680 and stick to our guns. In other words, if you get an offer less than 680, just reject it. But I would rather see you get offers and negotiate offers and even tell people to take walk than not get any offers. And it's been 30 days and we've only had three three showings and no offers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and, and like a smaller, what if I just lowered the price just a little bit to send it back out to the market? What's a little bit look like? Like five, six thousand dollars. So if we lowered the price to six ninety five and there was right. a buyer out there that was gonna give you six eighty and they don't look at your home at six ninety five and you don't sell your home for 680 and you're still here in August. How do you feel about that? I mean, well, I can't be. I can't be That's my dog. So I have to know. Say that one more time, Heather. I didn't hear you because of the dogs. I'm just kidding. Yeah, right? <laughs> um, yeah, I can't be here in August. Yeah. So what should we do? I guess drop the price. Drop to 680? Um, yeah, but I can't sell it for a dollar less than that. I'm good with that. So I'll lower the price to 680 today, cool? All right, sounds good. All right, <laughs> that was fun. All right, talk to me. What are your ahas other than my dogs make a lot of noise? So John, my big aha with every single script you did is you put out there, you ask the questions that normally we're afraid to hear hmm. from, our, from them. So you're, you're proactive with objection handling. For hmm. example, um, you might say, um, you know, so even like with Heather, so if we, you know, if we get an offer, mm -hmm. you know, what would it be? Like you're forcing her to see the worst case scenario and also, you know that they're going to say, well, if I lower it to where you want me to go, I'm not going any lower. So you've already told her you're going to stay firm at yeah. that price. Yeah. So that was huge. And you did it like in three other instances. You always bring up the objection before they do. Yeah. So that was very yeah. valuable. Yeah. And guys, also, I want you to, to um, pay attention to, I spoke to Heather um, like a high D, uh, wants to be communicated with. I was direct to the point. Um, it would not be the same conversation with everyone. I would still have the same conversation. The tonality would be different. The pace would be different, but it would be the same conversation. John, I'm looking back at my notes and specifically the, the one objection that you kept, you did a couple of times actually was, so um, are you going to, you offered, are you going to wait or do you want to get it on the market right away where mm -hmm. you're not waiting for them to say, well, I'm going to wait till after the pandemic or I'm going to wait. So that's but, important to bring all those up. Yeah. And I'm using that right now. I would not necessarily use that um, a year ago. If I was making an expired call a year ago prior to the pandemic, it would be, if I had an offer on your home, would you want me to bring you the offer? Yes, that's exactly why we should get together. I just need to pop by. I need 10 or 15 minutes to take a look at your home so that I could potentially bring you an offer. Does 4 p.m. work or five, would five be better? Because I just wanna get in the door. And today, it's a different conversation because of Corona. Right. All right, a couple more ahas before I let you go. I think Salima has a question. She's raising her hand. Please take yourself off mute and talk to me. 
Thank you, Heather. Yes. <laughs> yes John. Hi. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Everyone, are you talking to me? Yes, everyone, yes. Every, <laughs> you, every, John. Everyone here is great. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Okay, so I'm having, I don't have an aha, but I'm having a problem. Yes. I do have two listings that's been on the market for over 50 days. Okay. Um, when I did ask to lower the price, mm -hmm. um, the owner did say to me that, you know, this is what I paid for the home. And if I were to lower the price, I'm going to be walking away with nothing. She's yeah. not going to net anything. She's yeah. actually going to be losing. Yeah. That happens. Yeah. How do I handle that? It's, I, have, I had over 39 showings. Wow. Yeah. So I'm going to pick some um, hypothetical numbers, okay? So your property is listed at 300,000. We've had 39 showings and no offers. Correct. Yeah. And you need $300,000 in order to make money on the sale of your home, correct? Correct. I mean, if you sell it for 270, you're losing money on the sale. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So remind me again, why are you selling? I can't afford to pay my mortgage and I, I need to move in with my mom. Mm, yeah. So that concerns me. And just a really difficult conversation, but I need to be able to have that difficult conversation with you. If you had to choose between selling your home for 270 and losing money or losing the house because you can't make the payments, which would you choose? Sell and lose money, then yeah. I lose my home. Yeah. Would you rather lose $20,000 now or $50,000 later? I would rather lose $20,000 now, but when you came to me, we agreed that this is what I was going to sell and you assured me that, you know, this is what it was going to, I was going to sell the home. Yeah. Well, hopefully I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> if you did that, don't do that anymore. <laughs> not right okay. now, not in this market. Right? I actually got it before the pandemic, so. Yeah, it's okay. I'm not, don't, don't feel like I'm beating you up here because that's not my No, intention. no, I understand. Okay. I'm, I'm speaking to you as a coach um, with love and just telling you don't do that anymore. <laughs> now, <Thanks. laughs> if, if that's the conversation, then I'm just going to simply say, you know what? I did. And the only thing that I can do is evidently, is, is be honest and tell you evidently I was wrong. Now, would you rather lose $20,000 now or $50,000 later? I would rather lose $20,000 now. Yeah. And I know that you've bought and sold other homes, correct? Correct. Did you make money every time you sold one of those homes? No. Yeah. Have you ever purchased stocks? No, I never purchased stocks. Okay. So let's just hypothetically have a conversation around that. If you were okay. to buy shares in Apple at $400 a share and you went to sell them and they were worth three eighty dollars a share, are you going to get somebody to pay more than three eighty dollars a share? You bought it for no. 400 and it doesn't matter what you paid for it. It's worth 380 today. Are you going to get anybody to pay more than 380? No. No. Well, this time is kind of like that time. And if your home is worth 270, then that's what it's going to sell for. Because unfortunately, a buyer doesn't care that you need to make a profit. got it did that help? this is so helpful yes yeah. it's yeah. helpful so i'm going to tell you guys before i log off the call here's what tony DeSello told me to do 10 years ago when i was coaching with tony he told me to send all of my sellers and at the time i had 50 60 listings it was buyer's market 
that was normal. Um, I'm not saying that to brag. Don't be impressed because it was hell. I had only 5% were going under contract every month. 5% of 50 is three. Yeah. That means I had 47 sellers that were not happy. So it wasn't fun. He told me to send my sellers an updated price and a market analysis every week. And he said, send them two documents with them. Send them an addendum to lower the price or an addendum to withdraw the listing and ask them to sign whichever one they wanna sign. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow, I was right. <laughs> How many reduced? Yeah, most and some didn't. And I was just turning and turning and turning listings, Heather. The, the saying back in 2010 was you wanted to be firstborn, second spouse, third realtor. <laughs> Funny, right? And the whole idea behind that was, is it took three listings for it to sell. It took three listings for the seller to get real. By the time you got to the third listing, they were over all the BS. They were just, tell me what I need to hear so I can get my home sold. All right, did you guys get value today? Yes? Awesome. Scale of one to 10, one being this absolutely sucked and 10 being you got great information that you could use. 10? 10. 10. All right, Ten. make it a great day, everybody.